Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's a quick one. And um, it's about a very annoying feature that you have with different kinds of software. You have licenses, right? And they expire and you will get notified. But the way how you get notified is sometimes annoying because you know already, all right, yeah, I know in two days or in 20 days, my license will expire. But I know I informed my IT and they will cover that. But this message keeps popping up. And each time I start a software, you will see something like this. And this is not necessary, right? So you could deactivate it. And today I'm gonna show you a way how to do this. Um, and this is because Jan told me that. Jan is working for Altair. And I find this a uh, quite neat um, solution. By the way, um, this way you will get notified. Not that much annoying. I find it much more time consuming in the later versions. Um, but I'm not particularly sure. But I know it was a pain in the, yeah, you know. Um, it looks in 2020 something like this. So you start HyperMesh, for example, and you have to press then OK. And then you're waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. So you, you get a point. So how to deal with that? Here, how to close it, also possible, but you get a point, right? So each and every time consuming thing you can get rid of is a good thing. Now, how to do this? So you go into your system um, settings and change your environment variables to get there uh, easy way is to just go into an explorer window and then go into uh, let's see let's see on the on this pc right click and then on properties and then you go into uh, i think it's extended system settings or something like that and you have something like this and here are your environment variables click there and now you can see all my license settings and something like that. But the thing is, um, you just go into system variables or user variables and you get to set a new system variable. Now, thing is, this is the code. So it's ALM for... <laughs> I nearly said uh, ANSYS, but it's Altair. Altair License Manager, expire day. Uh, warning and then you just set it for example to one or five so you will just get a notification on one day prior to expiration so let's set that to one click OK 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 and now we will test that right so close this and I will start again works 21 you will not see it starting right here but let's see if that works. Um, I'm live testing that, but I have good faith and reason to believe that this is working. And boom, there you go. No more exploration messages. Easy as that. Good luck, folks. Um, all the best. And until next time.